very good okay so yesterday i was explaining you about the orifice meter isn't it so orifice meter there are couple of other meters also for example it might be venturi meter it might be bend meter rota meter we have many amounts of uh, flow measuring devices so all these meters what they will do is they will measure the flow flow in the sense how much content of air is being moving there so in order to measure that you have all these uh, devices and these all devices will work on fluid mechanic principles okay so you need to have a little bit touch of fluid mechanics for this uh, let us see what are the parameters given for this okay next the air flow the air flow for four cylinder four stroke oil engine he says so we would just write four stroke four cylinder we already written it that's fine next by means of a 5 cm diameter orifice so the diameter of the orifice is given as how much 5 cm so i would just write that so the diameter of the orifice he says just write d here and write 5 cm so 5 cm converted to meters how much it is In meters, I require. Are five centimeters in meters? Five into ten to the power minus three. Minus three, Allah. Centimeters, idu. Minus two. So it is five into ten to the power of minus two meters. So five into ten to the power of minus two meters. Next, he says. uh we means of a 5 uh, 5 cm orifice having a coefficient of discharge 0.6 so coefficient of discharge is nothing but c to the suffix d so it is 0.6 next he says during the test on the engine the following data were recorded he says okay find the pore is 10 cm so d Here is ten centimeters. So ten into ten to the power of minus two centimeters. I am writing. If you observe, I am writing the data wherever the equipment is there to have a clear understanding. This particular diameter is diameter of the cylinder, whereas this particular diameter is diameter of the orifice. This is the way you have to understand things. Okay. Now stroke he has given, which is the value of L. And that is twelve centimeters. So twelve into ten to the power of minus two cent. Uh, it's meters. Okay, I will just change this to meters again. Okay, that's great. Speed is given. The speed of the crankshaft is twelve hundred RPM. Okay. Next, brake torque. So directly he has given the torque. So I would just write torque here. So torque is equals to one twenty newton. meters so in the comfortable units only has given the fuel consumption he has mentioned so fuel consumption is mass flow rate of fuel and as 5 kg per hour let it be we will just modify the things accordingly when and when okay according to our needs we will just modify the things next calorific value of the fuel is being given and it is 42000 just a minute it is 42000 okay Kilo joules per kg. So that is the value given. Ah, next pressure drop across the orifice is 4.6 centimeters of the water. He says. So I will just write it as it is. We will discuss once that parameter comes uh, in our calculation. Okay, pressure drop across orifice is what? He says it is four point six centimeters of water. Ambient temperature and pressure is being given. So ambient temperature, ambient temperature is seventeen degree Celsius, and whereas the pressure is one bar. Okay, ambient temperature is seventeen degree Celsius, and the uh, Pressure is one bar. Now, what we are supposed to find here? <clears throat> what we are supposed to find? So, to find, okay, what we are supposed to find? The first one 
is the brake thermal efficiency brake thermal efficiency second one is the brake mean effective pressure and the third one is volumetric efficiency so volumetric efficiency is denoted by efficiency volume is that clear so this is the overall content of the problem now according to you there are three different parameters which is being asked the number one is the brake thermal efficiency second one is the brake mean effective pressure and the third one is the volumetric efficiency so with the knowledge what you have with the problems what you have solved okay with the concept what you have grabbed how many of these three parameters can you calculate with the data available without my aid how many of these three parameters you can calculate for yourself chirayu chirayu hazim hazim yes sir so how many of these parameters are you able to calculate uh the thermal efficiency i can calculate okay b and bmep also bmep very, yes. very good so i need answers from everyone okay hazim and lucky says uh, efficiency break thermal efficiency can be calculated without my aid and second one is the brake mean effective pressure can be calculated without any help so what others think who is this i e 2 l s t can i know who is this sir abdul sami sir i have to change the name change man change man don't pick uh, something which is related to avengers nebula no, and all that again at target okay sir okay sir very good ah uh, now eager uh, calculate your brake thermal efficiency i guess it is easy just do it it's already been done many times so you have to do it very fast okay come on guys the brake thermal efficiency so it is nothing but bp divided by fuel supplied heat supplied by the fuel it is mf dot into cv so what are the available parameters so bp is not available again i need to calculate so bp is equals to what it is 2 pi nt by 60 all the parameters are directly given just substitute it is 2 pi n is how much 1200 rpm cross torque is given as 120 newton meters divided by 60 so whatever you get you would get in watts give me the value so once that is done so mf dot so mf dot should be in which units 5 kg per hour it is so i require in i require in minutes minutes up okay minutes check martini mele kilowatt alli the bp ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಕೂಡ ನನಗೆ ಕಿಲೋ ವ್ಯಾಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇಕು ಸೊ ನೀನ್ ಹೇಳ್ದಾಗೆ ನಾನು ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇನೆ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಸಿ ವಿ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಡಿನೋಮಿನೇಟರ್ ಇದೆ ತಾನೆ ಸೊ ಎಂ ಎಫ್ ಡಾಟ್ ನೀನ್ ಏನೇನು ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೀಯಾ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಕೆ ಜಿ ಪರ್ಮನೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಸಿ ವಿ ಯಾವ್ದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಸಿ ವಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಎಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಕಿಲೋ ಜೌಲ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ ಕೆ ಜಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ವಲ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕಿಲೋ ಜೌಲ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ ಕೆ ಜಿ ನಾ ಕೆ ಜಿ ಕೆ ಜಿ ಗೋಸ್ Okay, so whatever units will remain is kilojoule per minute. Well, let's solve my purpose. Sujan. Yes, sir. It's the correct unit. Kilojoule per minute. Set a gatta. So MF dot into CV. Andre denominator absurd madu. BP divided by MF dot into CV. Nani in head a numeral matter denominator. One day unit a little bit kya anta. So BP other li de BP kilowatts li de. ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಏನಿದೆ ಕಿಲೋ ಜೌಲ್ ಪರ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ವೆಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ 
So what we have to do, Sujan? Hello, those for seconds. Seconds, ma'am. Seconds, Ali, ma'am, do that. Okay. Seconds, Ali, ma'am, do that. Okay. Seconds, Ali, ma'am, do that. Okay. Okay. Now. Ah. Iga. So, I will learn that the MF value is kilo joules, I mean, kgs per second. I will substitute that. Okay. Kg, kg, cancel. I will learn that. Okay. Kilo joules per second. Okay. Okay. Joules per second. Okay. What is joules per second, Sujan? Right, right. So it is kilowatt. So male could a kilowatt, kilowatt could a kilowatt, then you can cancel and calculate your efficiency, correct? So yes. I would have to do my MF dot in kilojoules per second. So I would divide it by 3600 kgs per second. Okay. Now. So once you calculate your BP, then go and calculate your rate thermal efficiency. That is 12 by 5 divided by 3,600 cross 42,000. So into 100. Ah, what is the value of BP? One So 25. What is 25? 20, 25 point 18 percentage. Okay, percentage is 25.8. But what, what about the BP? I need the BP also. BP is 15.08 kilowatt. 15.08 kilowatt. So it is 15.08 into 10 to the power of 3. I would write here. Ah, is everything correct now? Shall we move on for the calculation of break mean effective pressure? Anyone still calculating this? So how do you calculate break mean effective pressure, guys? Anyone? Let me know. How do you calculate break mean effective pressure? BP is IPL is just mean effective pressure. So PM LAN divided by 60. Okay. So now, engine configuration check. It is four stroke, four cylinder. So is the formula right for four stroke, four cylinder engine? Is the formula right for four stroke, four cylinder engine? Into two Okay. Kelagade into two madidre. E four stroke on the padaka artha kotang hai tu. Next four cylinder gain madadu. Into four. Into four. So four. it is this whole into four. Now it makes a complete sense, isn't it? Now the formula is for four stroke, four cylinder. Very good. Now, whatever the PM value you have. That is just mean effective pressure while you are calculating the IP. Suppose if you change the value of IP to BP, okay, then PM would change to break mean effective pressure cross LAN cross divided by 60 cross 2, this whole into 4. Got it? Got it.
Yes. Very good. <clears throat> ah, remember, Illi on the Sanna hinge there. I would just try to explain it. Okay. Four cylinder and there, ether air today. Okay. Now, all these four cylinder will have pistons like this. Everyone just try to concentrate this. This is very, very important to be understood. Okay. Now, in this four cylinder engine, like this, which is uh, I've just drawn in a rough manner. Okay. Now, where will be the IP produced? IP produce ago Delhi. Indicated power generate ago Delhi. Where will inside. be the IP? Inside. Above the piston. So inside the engine cylinder. How so one cylinder uh, IP1. Okay, so this is IP1 and this is IP2 and so on. So for all the cylinders, different IP. That is why you will multiply IP value with 4. Correct? That is what we have discussed, right? Artaita. Now, yes, sir. break power produce Delhi. Crank, crank shift, crank area. So, this is brake power. How is that? This brake power is the number of cylinders that is the effect of it. No. Understood my question. So, will this particular brake power, yes, there are cylinders early. Suppose if there are n number of cylinders also, whether the brake power calculation would be affected because we are calculating only torque. So we are attaching a brake drum and we are calculating a torque for it and we are extracting the brake power. Will it get affected? Will it get affected? Yes or no, man? So that is the reason why you are not multiplying with 4 for the brake power. Got it? Everyone? Yes, sir. Okay, now we have IP value with brake power. This will not come here. Okay, you should eliminate this. For that, the explanation is this one. Okay. Okay, now, so just substitute all the values, whatever the values you have, and give me the value of break mean effective pressure. So BP value was how much? BP value was 15.08. So it is 15.08 into 10 to the power of 3, since it is kilowatts over there. So break mean effective pressure, you're supposed to calculate cross land is L is what? 12 into 10 to the power of minus 2 cross uh, area on the pi by 4. D square is 10 into 10 to the power of minus 2. It's whole square. Next is N is 1200 RPM. This whole divided by 60 cross 2. What do you mean? What is break mean effective pressure? So whatever the answer you get, you will get in Newton per meter square. One point six seven into ten power six. One point six into ten to the power of six. Ah, huh? okay. One point six into ten to the power of. Six, I can approximately take it as 16 bar, I guess, right? Correct. Right. 
Next is the new thing, which is the volumetric efficiency. All of you just concentrate here now. And the third one, which you are supposed to be calculated is the volumetric efficiency. Just, just the color of all this. So how do you calculate volumetric efficiency? Any idea? So volumetric efficiency is given as the ratio of actual mass flow rate actual mass rate of air inside the cylinder divided by swept volume rate. So this is how you calculate the tanks. Okay, swept volume rate. That means actual volume of, uh, now we are talking in terms of the rate at which the air is flowing. Okay, now what is the volumetric efficiency? I told you initially in the classes that if the cylinder cc is 500 cc you cannot expect that while in the intake stroke all 500 cc will be filled up with the uh, incoming air and fuel mixture it is not possible deadly impossible so 500 cc there 400 cc or 420 cc matra occupy agate because of some reasons so there uh, you can calculate your volumetric efficiency. Okay, finance is very if to if you do volume occupy agi day and no new volumetric efficiency in the calculus matter. Hey, get actual agi yes to flow rate today. Okay, now Adana divided by in the total swept volume is today. So when you divide that, those things you'll get the volumetric efficiency. So if truly new yes to color style, so that particular parameter or comparison you can get it. Understood. Understood? Yes or no, man? Just give the response. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So, actual flow rate of air divided by swept volume rate. And we have to remember this. So, what I would do, I would just change this, the whole thing into red color so that you can remember it. It's a new thing in a problem, no? Okay. Next, yeah, here the parameter is on the actual flow rate on the swept volume flow rate. So, how do you calculate these two? Is my question, right? First one is swept volume flow rate. Swept volume flow rate for this. The formula is, you need to remember it, it is pi by 4 d square cross L. It is nothing but the swept volume, am I right? Pi by 4 d square cross L is something but the swept volume. Yes or no? Hey, it's swept volume, Kana. Yes, sir. Engineer, the response model well on you. Come on. So, this is swept volume. Now, what I'll be doing is I'll be multiplying this swept volume in speed so that I could get the rate at which uh, the air is moving inside the cylinder. And even I would multiply by the number of cylinders which is 4. I will just write k now. You are in, uh, you are substituting it is per minute. So, you have to do it in per second. So, what you have to do? You have to divide this whole divided by 60. And this is how you generate all of this. Okay. And whatever you get with all this formula is in the units of meter cube per second. Okay. So, just substitute the values. You can just write where the value of K 
के एस नंबर ऑफ सिलेंडर्स ओके just substituted all the values to get the swept volume flow rate so pi by 4 d square is how much d square is how much d n into 10 to the minus 2 n into 10 to the power component barila simple agi whole square into 0.12 is your stroke length cross speed speed is to the 1200 Cross four number of cylinders. This whole divided by sixty. So whatever you get now, it would be in meter cube per second. And this is what this is. Swept volume flow rate. Okay. Make it fast. How much is the value? Zero point zero seven five. Okay, zero point zero seven five meter cube per second. Aye, <coughs> to. You can get actual volume flow rate. You get calculate more. Do not actual mass flow rate. Of yeah, so this is calculated by which equipment? Orifice meter. So in order to calculate that, you have a formula. You need to remember that, and that is given by V is equal to that is actual volume flow rate meter cube per second. V is equal to A into square root of two G H cross C D. Okay, V is equals to A into square root of two G H cross C D. Huh. In that, what is A? A is area of orifice. A diameter koti thana la orifice do. Koti thana thane. Koti thana illo. Five centimeter. Five five centimeter. Koti thar thane ya five centimeters end to the koti thana la. From that you can calculate the area of the orifice. So pi d square by four. So it is pi into five centimeters into the head degree. So minus two whole square divided by four. So whatever you get, you will get in meter square and keep that value aside. Okay. Next, 2g g value one thunder acceleration due to gravity. That's good to know, la. 9.81 meter square per second. Correct. Next is h value. So h value you can extract from this particular formula here. Okay, again, but it's not. P is equals to rho g h. Any other parameter is given to calculate the value of h. Let us see. Uh, pressure drop across the orifice is 4.6 centimeters of water. He says, "Okay, so 4.6 centimeters of water." Already, you got to know. The pressure drop uh, for water column, or the mercury column, how do you convert into pressure? How do you convert into pressure there? Yes. 
how do you convert the water column pressure to bar or newton per meter square hmm yes hey unless and until you give me the answer i will not move forward okay my question is how do you convert 4.6 cm of water to a normal units of pressure like newton per meter square or it might be a bar how do you convert it unless and until you give me the answer we will not move forward hmm ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರ ಹಶೀರ್ ಹಶೀರ್ ಸೃಜನ್ ಲಕ್ಕಿ ಮನೀಶ್ ಮರವನ್ ಹಬ್ ಡಿ ಯು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಇಂಟು ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ ಪರ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಬಾರ್ ಓಕೆ what we will do is i will give you today's time get to know this how do you convert a centimeter column or a meter column of water or mercury to a corresponding units of pressure whether it might be newton per meter square or it might be bar i do not mind it any one of the unit if you just convert it how do you convert it so there is a particular formula simple formula you have solved the problems on manometers also so there will explicitly use that particular formula okay just get to know it and once you know that we will continue the problem okay so it's simple okay so volumetric efficiency and i know first it is actual flow rate divided by the swept volume rate swept volume rate you have already calculated it okay so we are waiting for the actual flow rate for actual flow rate you need an orifice meter using orifice meter the formula is a into square root of 2 gh cross cd okay cd is being given i would even write that cd is given as 0.6 okay now if i somehow get to know the volume of this height if somehow if i get to know the height then i can calculate my actual flow rate using the orifice meter so how did you get that nishan chetty enadu the newton per centimeter square hmm newton per centimeter square how did you calculate it that is my question so google kena pa google google <laughs> are you are solving the problems on manometers no just get to know you use the textbook even you will learn the fluid mechanics part also there factor we will discuss this particular problem in the next class is that clear so once you have found that yes, you can just find the volumetric efficiency that's it okay ಇದು ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆಟ್ ನಾವ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಈಸಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬೀನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶೋನ್ ಟು ಯು ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಹವ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡನ್ i would ask anyone in this class to show their book and even for the balance okay start your problem right now within uh, end of the class you have to complete this particular problem okay
So all the parameters are being neatly mentioned here. There is absolutely no uh, problem in calculating it. Even I have the values. I mean the same. I have the solution for this. Okay. Just try this particular problem or just help you to take down the okay. Just help you to take the parameters. Okay. Given data. Let us write the given data for you neatly. So whatever is the given data. Okay. The constant speed, uh, combustion, compression ignition engine operating on four stroke cycle. So I will just write engine parameter night. Okay, engine parameters at one side. What are the engine parameters? It is a four stroke engine, he says. So I would just write it as a four stroke fitted with a handbrake. The following observations were taken. So all those observations. So brake wheel diameter, all those stuffs he has given. So I would just write a brake wheel here. Okay. Brake wheel, uh, brake wheel diameter capital D is 600 mm, he says, so it is 0.6 meters directly. Bore is being given as band thickness, uh, band thickness in the sense it is small d, guys. Okay, small d is 5 mm, he says, so just write 5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meters. Okay, speed, so speed. I would just write here n is equals to 450 rpm. Okay, next he has given load on the band. So, load on the band is W, but is 200 Newton. Very good. Spring balance reading. So, yes, he has given it as 30 Newton. Area of indicator diagram. Now, indicator diagram parameters. So, I just write indicator diagram parameters here. Okay. So what for indicator diagram parameters is, is used? What for it is used? Indicator diagram. So area is being given 415 mm square. Length of indicator diagram L is 63 mm. And the spring constant which is used for this is 0 0.11 Newton per mm square. Okay, Newton per mm square per mm. So Newton per mm square per mm is the unit. Okay. This is the indicated am parameters. That's great. Next bar. So capital D here, that is being given as 100 mm, so it is 0.1 meters. Stroke is 150 mm, so it is 0.15 meters. Okay, specific fuel consumption. So mass flow rate of fuel is being given. That is 0.22 kg per kilowatt hour. Oh, this is specific fuel consumption. Okay. So specific fuel consumption means either it could be indicated or it could be brake. Indicated specific fuel consumption or it would be brake specific fuel consumption. Observe this kilowatt here. Okay. Next, what is given? CV value is being given. CV is 42,000 kilojoules per kg, right? So all those stuffs are given. So what we need to find is to find number one is the brake power is being questioned. Number two is the indicated power. Number three is the mechanical efficiency. Next is indicated thermal efficiency indicated thermal efficiency okay so it is indicated thermal efficiency next is brake thermal efficiency so brake thermal efficiency okay so all these things has to be found out so this is the overall problem here okay so if you write the data accordingly suppose see 
have how I have segregated the data. So I have written all the indicator diagram parameters at one end. Okay, so it would be useful to graph, and the brake drum parameters at the one end. Okay, and the cylinder parameters at the one end, and the fuel consumption parameters at the one end. Okay, so this is how you have to segregate the data so that you will not get confused. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Try to solve one by one, break power. So you just write solution there. Okay. So break power is what? Break power is 2 pi nt by 60. Uh, for this particular break power, has he given the value of torque? Has he given the value of torque? No. No. We have to calculate it. How will you calculate the torque then? I think you have a formula for it, right? Hey, torque indicator diagram is a calculate. How will you calculate torque? For that, you have a brake drum formula, isn't it? W minus S into capital D plus small d divided by 2. Substitute the values and take the values from there and substitute. Okay. So W value is given as how much? 200 minus 30, okay, into capital D is 0.6 plus 0 0.005, am I right? I'm substituting in meters, divided by 2. So whatever the value of torque you'll get, just substitute there. So once you get the value of torque, Go for the BP calculation, it is 2 pi n value of 450. N value of 450. Cross torque value, whatever you get, just substitute that into 60. So thereby you will calculate the value of BP in watts. Ah, what is the value of torque, guys? Fifty one point four two. Fifty one point four two Newton meters. So just substitute here fifty one point four two and give me the value of the brake power. Give me the value of brake power. Give me the value of brake power. 2.42 kilowatt. 2.42 kilowatt. Now go for IP calculation. What is the formula for IP? It is plan divided by 60. Now just go and check the cylinder configuration. Four stroke single cylinder. So it is four stroke. single cylinder okay ah, for four stroke what should i do have to multiply this by two since single cylinder no issue there okay now do i have the value of pm do i have the value of pm there PM could be done in raw. No. 
No sir. So what do we have to do? Okay. What do we have to do? S into A divided by. Very good. Go for that indicator diagram parameters. Yes, A by L. Okay. Before you substitute, just check for the units there. Okay. So what is uh, yes given as? Yes. What do you mean by newton per me mm square? What do you mean yeah. by newton per mm square? Can I write it as mega pascal? Newton per mm square. Can I write it as mega pascal per mm? I am replacing newton per mm square with mega pascal. Can I do it or not? Yes or no, man? You studied in mom. Yes. How about? So yes, a by l, a is how much? Just check for the units. I was checking for the units. No. Mm. So you are substituting. What is the unit of yes there? Yes is in mega pascal divided by mm per mm. He says cross area. Area is in m m square divided by l is in mm. So what happens now? So mm square get cancels. This mm, this mm get cancels. So whatever the final unit you would get, you would get in mega pascal. So just substitute all in the same unit. So yes, is zero point one one. Zero point one one cross area is how much? Four one five. So four one five divided by L is how much? Sixty three. Sixty three. Now the value of PM, whatever you get, it would be in mega pascal. Point seven two. Just note it down. Point seven two mega pascal in the side, right? Point into seven two into ten to the power of six newton per meter square. Right? Now, since everything is known, just substitute here. To calculate the value of IP, so it is zero point seven two cross ten power of six cross L. What is the value of L? Zero point one five cross uh, area. So it is five by four d square. What is the value of d there? Point one zero meter. point one. Okay, point one. It's whole square cross. In you know. Yen speed is today. Four fifty. Four fifty. Four fifty. Yes, exactly. It is four fifty. So this whole divided by sixty cross two. Sixty cross two. Ah, give me the value of IP. Whatever you get, it would be in watts. So at the third parameter, so this is second one. Second one, and this was first one. BP have calculated, IP have calculated. Now the mechanical efficiency. So this is easy. This is just brake power divided by indicated power. So whatever you get, the value of just substitute it. Brake power is today 2.42 kilowatts. So even you have to substitute IP in kilowatts. So that you can get the right answer. Ah, three point one eight. Three point one eight kilowatt. Three point one eight kilowatt. Very good. So three point one eight into ten to the power of three. So kilowatt. So I would just substitute in kilowatts here. So mechanical efficiency in terms of percentage now. Seventy six point one. Seventy six point one. So it is seventy six point one. Next, the parameter which was given was it breaks specific fuel consumption. Pick this particular parameter. Okay, I will just pick this. Copy. Okay. From this, you can extract some more thing. So, what is break specific fuel consumption? By the way, anyone? What do you mean by break specific fuel consumption? 
it is mass flow rate of the fuel divided by brake power isn't it from this you can calculate the mass flow rate of the fuel which is brake specific fuel consumption cross the value of bp there okay now just check for the units again brake specific fuel consumption uh, is been given as kg divided by kilo watt hour cross bp if you substitute in kilowatts what happens what happens there kilowatt and kilowatt goes away right so whatever answer you get that would be in what it would be in kgs per hour so just substitute the brake specific fuel consumption it is 0.22 cross bp you have to substitute in kilowatt so it is 2.42 so whatever the value will get that would be in kgs per hour okay Give me the mass flow rate. Point five three. So point five three is the mass flow rate, isn't it? And I have to convert it into kgs per second. So point five three divided by three thousand six hundred. Now the unit of mass flow rate in kgs per second. Use the same thing over there. Zero point five three. This whole divided by three thousand six hundred to calculate your indicated thermal. Ah, this is the fourth one, I guess. Correct, Allah. The fourth, fourth and fifth. The fifth one is the brake thermal efficiency. So BP divided by MF dot cross CV. BP valuables how much? BP valuables two point four two in kilowatts. The below also should be in kilowatts. So uh, substituting MF in kgs per second, that is something like this: three thousand six hundred cross forty-two thousand. This into hundred. So whatever you get, you would get in percentage. Ha! Huh. Give me the values of indicated thermal and the brake thermal. Fifty-one point four two percentage. Very good. Indicated thermal is what, Rajatta? How this sir? Ah, you go. A break per minute, banta. Calculate marti din sir. Very good. Do it. Thirty-nine point one three. Okay, Praveen. Thirty-nine. Point one three. Just check the values. If you get the same value, just raise your hand. Let me see how many of you are doing the problems. Okay, only three. So now I want to know uh, how are you filling the problems on IC engines? I need answers from everyone in the chat box. So almost all uh, similar problems you have solved, many problems you have solved till now. So I want how you are filling. Are you comfortable with the IC engine problems or not? Or how are you filling regarding the problems which is related to IC engines? Okay. Just give me your answer in the chat box, everyone.
lot of formulas okay confusion in unit conversion definitely so the unit plays a very important role that's why for every uh, substitution i'll be cross verifying the unit even you have to follow the same so whenever you substitute something just cross verify the unit without cross verifying the units you will never ever come to a conclusion now nodi iga idra substitute madidre idu yava unit alli ide idu yava unit alli substitute madidre ninna end result yava unit alli bartade amba ninge gottagutade artha aita so for every substitution you have to make your units very very clear so that is the whole heart of this particular module okay very good next confusion in unit conversions and problems are easy okay but only confusion in the unit conversion so all are facing problem in unit conversion okay okay ishtana virudu 55 people idirallo so it's all about the formulas and unit conversion you know there by kala Uh, you have to learn it okay maja idu unit conversions alla on tara nevu hege antandre practice madda matha godagutte aa unit haki unit haki the end result anige aa unit al beko aa unit alli nanu modify maadkobeku so that is uh, fun okay okay so it's already time guys so just mark your attendance in the attendance sheet and my counseling batch students please stay in the meeting rest all can leave okay rest all can leave this mark uh, your friends my uh, counseling batch students okay i will just stop recording this